Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In 1963, the U.S. Air Force initiated the search for a jet-powered replacement for the aging C-133 Cargo Master, a turboprop transport nearing the end of its service. This led to the development of the C-5 Galaxy by Lockheed in the 1960s, designed to be a massive strategic airlifter capable of carrying oversized cargo across long distances. The 65 has always been known as a heavy lifter. Uh, we carry space container modified missions with so satellite and outsized cargo, carrying heavy helicopters. Um, we've always been known for doing that, and I think the C5M coming around in the last few years has really solidified us as that heavy lifter to the warfighter. Its vast cargo hold features both an upward, hinged nose visor and rear clamshell doors, enabling drive through loading and unloading via full-width ramps at either end. This configuration allows for an impressive payload, ranging from 36 fully loaded 463L pallets to two M1 Abrams tanks or even seven UH-1 Huey helicopters. Its 121-foot-long cargo floor, longer than the Wright brothers' first powered flight, offers over 35,000 cubic feet of pressurized, climate-controlled space. With five times the capacity of the C-141 Starlifter, the C-5 Galaxy stands as a logistical giant, primarily dedicated to cargo transport. With personnel carriage reserved for emergency or special missions authorized by Headquarters Air Mobility Command, The exceptional takeoff performance of the C-5 Galaxy is the result of sophisticated engineering, combining powerful engines, long-swept wings, and an efficient T-tail configuration. At the heart of its propulsion system are four General Electric TF-39 turbofan engines, each capable of producing an impressive 41,000 pounds of thrust. These engines are not only immensely powerful, but also physically large, supporting the aircraft's heavy lift capability. A key aerodynamic feature of the C-5 is its T-tail, which enhances flight efficiency by improving the performance of the vertical stabilizer. This is achieved through the end plate effect, where the horizontal stabilizer acts similarly to a winglet, reducing induced drag on the rudder. This effect contributes to a more stable and streamlined flight, especially at lower speeds and during high angle maneuvers. This aerodynamic principle, commonly employed in modern glider designs to reduce drag and improve lift efficiency, has been effectively applied in the C5 structure. One standout feature is its use of reverse thrust, which not only aids in decelerating during landings, but also allows the aircraft to back up under its own power. An extremely rare capability for an aircraft of this scale. The C5's landing gear system is a marvel of design. consisting of one nose strut and four main landing gear bogies, supporting 28 wheels in total. 
engineered for high flotation. This system enables the aircraft to operate from semi-prepared or unpaved surfaces. It includes freewheel castering for enhanced maneuverability on the ground and allows the main gear to swivel 20 degrees to either side. The gear can be raised individually, streamlining tire replacements and brake servicing. With these features, the C5 Galaxy is capable of landing or taking off from nearly any global airstrip. Making it one of the most versatile and self-sufficient transport aircraft in military service. Basic maintenance of the C5 Galaxy involves a thorough set of procedures essential for ensuring the aircraft remains mission ready. While some tasks are routine, many are time intensive and complex. In the U.S. Air Force, Phase maintenance is a structured, recurring process designed specifically to ensure the structural soundness and operational reliability of the aircraft over time. Conducted in massive hangars built to accommodate the C-5's immense dimensions, Phase maintenance includes thorough evaluations of the airframe, engines, hydraulic systems, and avionics at dedicated isochronal inspection docks. Each phase focuses on specific components, ensuring meticulous attention without requiring the aircraft to be out of operation for extended periods. These inspections are essential for identifying wear, corrosion, or hidden system issues before they lead to critical failures. By addressing potential problems early, phase maintenance plays a crucial role in extending the C5 service life, maintaining fleet availability, and ensuring this heavy lift aircraft always remains ready for global missions. While smaller in scope compared to full inspections, engine replacements on the C5M Super Galaxy remain critical maintenance tasks. At installations such as Dover Air Force Base, airmen undergo specialized training to master the challenging process of changing out the General Electric F-138 GE-100 engines. This essential program draws maintenance personnel from across the globe, from Rota, Spain, to Travis Air Force Base in California, highlighting the importance and precision required for such work. It's nice to have guys come here and build that relationship with each other, because now when one guy in Rota is having an issue, he doesn't have to call schoolhouse. Now he can just call one of the guys that he was in class with and say, do you remember how to do it? I kind of forgot. Now it's building uh, Air Force as a whole Whenever there's a C-5 that might need an engine change, that's where they're going to be. They're going to have somebody there that can lead the team. To protect airmen during these high elevation tasks, safety harnesses are mandatory and must be securely fastened to anchor points on the aircraft. In addition to personal protective equipment, guardrails and maintenance platforms are carefully positioned throughout the work area. These provide stability and fall protection while airmen navigate around the engines.
Airmen from the 60th and 349th Maintenance Squadrons carefully remove a trailing edge flap from the wing of a C-5 Super Galaxy as part of a practical training exercise designed to enhance both technical proficiency and mission effectiveness. This hands-on experience provides maintenance personnel with a deeper understanding of the function. Maintenance and repair of these essential components, which are critical to the aircraft's lift generation and aerodynamic performance. Working directly with actual aircraft parts like trailing edge flaps allows airmen to grasp the complexity and precision involved in real-world maintenance tasks. Through this type of immersive, task-specific training, airmen directly contribute to the readiness and longevity of the C-5 fleet helping sustain its capability to execute strategic airlift missions around the globe. All C-5 Galaxy aircraft are coated in the standard U.S. Air Force Gray, a finish carefully applied through a detailed and precise painting process. This operation takes place inside a specialized hangar large enough to accommodate the aircraft's enormous dimensions. The procedure begins with a thorough cleaning and surface preparation, a vital step to ensure proper paint adhesion and long-term durability. A distinctive yellow primer is applied first, playing a key role in protecting the aircraft's structure and enhancing corrosion resistance. Once primed, the C-5 is coated in its signature gray livery, designed to provide low visibility in operational environments and improve overall mission effectiveness. Supporting the C-5 Galaxy's global reach is the KC-135 Stratotanker. A vital aerial refueling aircraft that extends the range and endurance of heavy airlifters during long-distance missions. To transfer the fuel to the receiving aircraft, the tanker uses a 30 to 50 foot long rigid tube known as the boom, which is an extendable and maneuverable pipe-like structure equipped with a fuel nozzle. A boom operator is responsible for transferring fuel from one military aircraft to another. However, there are several possibilities for mishaps during mid-air refueling which requires the boom operator to make split-second decisions to avoid disasters. 35, contact Salt Lake Center 133.25. The boom is typically used to refuel larger aircraft, such as the C-5 Galaxy. Successful fuel transfer requires efficient communication between the tanker's boom operator and the pilot of the receiver aircraft while the boom extends and attaches to the receptacle of the aircraft. Once the fuel is transferred, the tanker disconnects the boom from the receptacle and both aircraft continue to fly on separate paths.
From its groundbreaking design to its unmatched cargo capacity and global reach, the C-5 Galaxy remains a cornerstone of the U.S. Air Force's strategic airlift capability. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.